Oh, look at that. Okay. On my face. Oh, that's quite cool, but also quite massive. I'm glad I'm wearing glasses. Oh, that is really tickly. Do you know what you got to do? Read and not cry. Okay, I do. Okay, that's fine. Um, this weird bit looking bag on my face is Michaeli Spectre or Exotosma. Extatomasoma. Tiantratum. Tiratum. Extatosomata. Tiratium. I don't know who Michaeli was, but if this is his Spectre, then he looked pretty weird. Oh my god. She's an Australian species of stick insect. G'day, Sheila. <laughs> They spend their time hanging around, feeding on eucalyptus trees. Just like koalas. I'm glad it's her rather than a koala sat on my face, though. <laughs> she sometimes adopts a strange C shape. Some scientists think she may be mimicking a scorpion. A pretty nifty defense. <laughs> Although the only danger she's in right now is if she falls into my mouth. Which she's pretty close to doing. Oh. She just pooed on me. Pooed on me. <laughs> Thanks for that. She's a really powerful woman. 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 In fact, she can grow up to six inches long and she's covered in spines just like a walking cactus. Oh, good. She's much bigger than the weedy male who lacks her impressive bulk and body spikes. In fact, he's so unimpressive that she doesn't even need him to make eggs. She can produce one egg a day all by herself to make an army of little Sheila clones. 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 There is a downside of making your own colony of superwomen, though. The eggs made by a female on her own take more than twice as long to hatch, giving them twice as much chance of being eaten or dying. Sorry, Sheila. For some reason, when the male is involved in the mating, it takes half the time, and the pitter-patter of tiny spectres comes after just three to four months. Ah! She's moving. Whew. So the female of the species might be more awesome than the male. But I guess he has some uses. Go the boys.